Okay, beautiful ladies of my heart, welcome, welcome. I'm going to attempt a halo eye that will look subtle yet pops. So without any more blabbering, let's get to it. Okay, I zoomed in as much as I can do where this dang thing won't try to focus all over the place. And then, of course, when I edit, I will bring myself even closer. Pray for me. All right, I'm going to start with my Milani palette, Wind Down. Now, I just absolutely love this palette. It sings to me. It just seems to be a great color for this face. I'm going to use my It brush for the corner. And for the corner, because they do have to be darker, I'm going to start with this. This pink right here. Now, look, the other one's brown. Okay, so I'm going to dip a little dippy-doo like that in there. Oops, see, I'm going out of focus. I'm going to come forward, and I'm going to open my eye and... Put it right here in the corner. Just a little dab. Like I said, it's going to look a little funny at first. If you've done a halo eye at all or if you've seen them. So I start out like I normally do. And it doesn't look really dark. But we're going to add more dark to it. All right. So can you see? That's all I'm doing for right now. And then I'm going to take my Fluff Fluff McGruff brush and I'm going to start blending it very easily. Because with, with hooded eyes, as you see, I'm, I'm trying to stay in this area, which means I've got to make another crease. So I am going to use that color and I'm going to come up, I'm going to look straight ahead. You just, you really got to look straight ahead, ladies. And find that sagginess here. And we're going to just bring it out. Just like we do for a normal hooded eye. We're going to blend this all in. So if you make a mistake, like I do many times over, <laughs> look ahead. So I'm bringing my halo right up into my crease because I have the real estate there and I have to do some work in here. All right, very pretty color. It looks funky right now, but we're gonna fix it. Now I'm gonna take my little Fluff Fluff McRush again and just start blending. You wanna blend, I hold it closer to the end so I'm not forcing it. Any eyeshadow will do and it can all be blended subtly. Take a little tiny brush, like so, and I'm gonna go in with the darker color. That's this one here. Their browns wind down. Very careful. And then we're going to go a little darker there. We're not gonna take it all up. We're just going in the corner and a little out so that we are again, okay? Just a subtle. All right, and then the same thing in here. Just a little dark right there. I'm gonna blend it all in. So then I'm gonna take my little Fluff Fluff McGrush and I am gonna gently buff it. Just blend it out. Mm -hmm. So I'm still blending, I'm blending in, I'm blending, blending, blending. Now this eye is going to be a little more dramatic than a regular eye, and it's supposed to be. Even though I said I didn't want it really flamboyant, it does have to have some, it has to have some drama, okay? All right, we've left the center. Now what we're going to do on the center, I'm going to take a little bit more. See, like so, and I'm going to go in the center. I'm trying to make a funnel, but I'm, I'm not really doing that well. I'm going up into my fake crease, and then I am. You can use your finger. Okay. You want to blend this color up here and into that, just so the edges... This color pop, this green. I'm gonna try that. 
So I am going to take a the flat brush, a little bit of thickness on it, and I'm going to put it right there, and then I'm going to come right here and go right where that is, that funnel. You can do the whole eye, but the idea for this is to just highlight this center. Because we want to do the whole halo effect. So see, I'm doing that. I'm bringing it down, but I'm stopping right there and going here, leaving the center open. I'm going to take a little bit of that glitter and put it right there. And like I said, I like subtle. This would have been great for New Year's had I went anywhere on New Year's. Right. Mascara I got for Christmas by Charlotte Tilbury. Very teeny tiny little. And I'm going to go straight up from the bottom up. Okay, my ladies, I'm back. Now this eye off that I did off camera was much easier and faster than this one because I was yapping the whole time. But I think it's very pretty. I have to get used to the fact that this is more of a smoky-like eye, more of an evening look to me. I will try with other eyeshadow palettes that are lighter to still try to get the effect of this halo eye without going too bold. But I do think it's very pretty. And it's easy to do when you're not talking. <laughs> so go out there and play with this technique. I will find some more that will work with our mature skin and our eye type and just bring them back to you. I love your suggestions, as you know. So anything you'd like to see or like me to do, please let me know and I'll do it if it's possible. All right, everybody, go out and have a blessed day. Love you. See you soon.